بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویئرس محمد ناظم ود دی فورٹی فرسٹ اپیئرنس ان فرنٹ آف یو ٹوڈے وین آئی واز کمنگ ٹو ٹاک ٹو یو آئی واز تھنکنگ دیٹ وی آر فاسٹ ریچنگ آر ٹارگیٹ اونلی فور لیکچرز اوے اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ آئی ول ناٹ بی ڈائریکٹلی ٹاکنگ ٹو یو دا وے آئی ایم ٹاکنگ ٹو یو ٹوڈے اینڈ مور اور لیس آئی ووڈ ہیو کمپلیٹڈ دا ٹاسک آف گیونگ یو as much information and knowledge as I could give within these 45 lectures. But then realizing the importance of communication which I have been throughout my lecture emphasizing upon you, telling you that this is going to make or break your professional or personal career, I thought that I must not miss some another important things which I believe is linked up with the art of persuasion. In my last lecture, I told you how to write persuasive letters. In my speech when I was talking to you about oral communication, I emphasized that while you develop the art of communication, good speaking, you must as well learn how to be a persuasive speaker. So whereas communication means sharing information, The important aspect is that you must develop the art of persuasion. So persuasion is as important, rather more important as providing information. In fact, information is always there, as I have been telling you in my past lectures. But what really makes a difference is how persuasive you are in your speech, in your presentation, in your writing. That's why I'm trying to take some more time and I'll be delving on this very aspect today. Or aap ko mein chahunga ke again focus karun kuch cheezen jo mere pichle lecture mein aap ko clear nahi hui hai wo mein aaj mazid bataun. With this intention that you must have this thing in your mind that you need to be a persuasive writer. You need to be a persuasive speaker. And persuasiveness is an important comp component of your good communication. Aaj, when you look around, the way the business is developing, you must be coming across while you, you are on your way going somewhere. You see people marketing, people trying to persuade you, people trying to rope into their own ways of marketing and persuading you by enticing you, by making you catch to their selling gimmickries or whatever tricks. There is an element of persuasion. Ye product khareed lijiye, ye muft product hai. Jaayin iske andar aapko sone ki cheez bhi nikalegi. That is because they want to attract you somehow that you use the product. But mind it, sometimes you can, you can kill the whole thing by trying to oversell, trying to be manipulative. Ek cheez jo ke main aapko gosh guzar karna chahta hoon, focus karna chahta hoon, ke persuasion is not gimmickry. It is not roping in your customer by being manipulative. Mainne aapko char cheezen batayin thi. Aur char cheezon mein sabse pehli cheez thi, attracting the attention, which I was saying, the grabber. Look, in negative uh, news uh, letters, in disappointing news letters, and this is one thing that is common, that we do not have a direct approach. That is, we adopt the indirect approach. We change the mood of the person. We bring the uh, reader in a receptive frame of mind. Therefore, اس وجہ سے ہم پہلے جیسے کہ وہاں گریبر استعمال کرتے ہیں یہاں وی اسٹارٹ ود دی اٹینشن گیٹنگ اسٹیٹمنٹ اٹینشن گیٹنگ سم تھنگ کیچی گریبا آج میں آپ کو کچھ پریکٹیکل گریبرز بتاؤں گا وچ ول ٹیل یو ہاؤ یو کین بی انوویٹو ہاؤ کین یو بی کریٹو بفور آئی شو یو ٹو فارمس آف لیٹرز بیکاز پرسویسو لیٹر رائٹنگ میں یا تو آپ سیلس لیٹر بنائیں گے تاکہ لوگوں کو اٹریکٹ کریں گے اپنے پروڈکٹس بیچنے کے لیے یا آپ ایسے لیٹرز لکھیں گے جس کے اندر سے آپ نے 
कलेक्शन करनी होगी जो कि ओवर ड्यू क्लेम्स है सो कलेक्टिव लेटर्स बताऊंगा और आपको मैं सेल्स लेटर दे लेकिन इससे पहले मैं वो चार चीजें दोबारा रिवाइज करना चाहूंगा जो कि मैंने कहा था कि फर्स्ट थिंग वाइल कंपोजिंग वाइल फ्रेमिंग योर आर्ग्यूमेंट इज दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड द अटेंशन गेटिंग ग्रैबा वंस यू सक्सीड इन दैट यू विल बी एबल टू क्रिएट एन इंटरेस्ट इन योर रीडर विदाउट अ ग्रैबा नो बडी इज इंटरेस्टेड अगर मैं आपसे यह कहूं कि लुक लेट्स वर्क फॉर द ब्यूटिफिकेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एंड ब्यूटिफिकेशन ऑफ द कंट्री बाय कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग समथिंग फॉर अ कैंपेन अगेंस्ट क्लीनिंग द रोड यू विल नॉट बाय इट ऑल दो योर्स एंड माइन हैव गॉट अ कॉमन इंटरेस्ट फॉर द्लीननेस ऑफ आर कंट्री बट इफ आई टेल यू लुक या पाकिस्तान एंड ब्यूटी goes hand in hand because it gives us pleasure it's our home and in order to keep it clean we have to keep in mind what are we going to leave for our children for our for our grandchildren now here i am telling you that this country is not only for us for our children for our grandchildren to come i have touched upon an emotional aspect of course patriotism is there but more than that something which is closer to your heart your children your grandchildren who will be living in this country So therefore, therefore, मैंने आपके जहन में एक ग्रह डाला आइए मैं जब आपको इन चारों एग्जाम्पल्स की दैट इज कीपिंग इन माइंड द अटेंशन गेटिंग ग्रैबा मेकिंग दैम हैविंग एन इंटरेस्ट देन क्रिएटिंग अ डिजायर एंड देन एक्शन ये चारों चीजें जो कि आपने अपने पर्सुएसिव लेटर्स के अंदर इनकॉर्पोरेट करनी है आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू some new ideas so that that could facilitate that you really can be creative grabber mein attention getting me just like in speeches you can start with a quote as you say that uh, home is where the heart is now since i want to sell you better homes i am giving you a quote home is where the heart is and home is where you spend the best time of your life best time of the day ab yahan se maine aapko attract kiya hai and then i'll tell you how to grab you further and telling you what is that i want you to pay attention to dekhiye ye main chuke ek selling business mein hu आइए मैं आपको एक और बड़ी प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल दूं पर हैप्स दैट विल बी वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट टू व्हाट आई एम डूइंग हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इफ आई से टू यू दैट अर्न वाइल यू लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम वर्चुअल यूनिवर्सिटी नाउ यू विल बी अगेन अट्रैक्टेड एंड यू विल यू विल यू विल बी ग्रैब बाय व्हाट आई एम सेइंग आई से अर्न वाइल यू लर्न at virtual university because in the back of my mind is that i am going to sell you computers at a concessional rate and i am going to involve you in telemarketing and i am going to at the same time put you on a special course with virtual university to learn the art of communication here is a graba i say earn now you being a student would like to be in the earning business as soon as possible maine maine puri ek strategy frame ki because i deal in computer selling because i work with virtual university i have got an alliance with them i have got a common objective because i believe our um, students should be practical students earning and learning at the same time i believe that communication is important for you so that's why i say earn and i am going to give you a uh, computer at concession rate surely you will all be attracted here is a grabber then you will want to know from me that how to go about getting the computers etc etc means here is a way of bargaining by giving a good grabber then likewise while you are selling gifts again you can use a good grabber 
गिव अ गिफ्ट टू योर मदर अगर मैं वैसे आपको गिफ्ट बेचू पर हैप्स यू विल नॉट बाय इट बट नोइंग दैट एवरीबडी लव हिज ऑर मदर आई से गिव अ गिफ्ट टू योर मदर बट बिहाइंड द गिफ्ट यू नो वॉट आई एम सेलिंग इज अ कुकरी बुक बिकॉज इन दैट कुकरी बुक आई नो मदर्स आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कुकिंग गिविंग फूड टू द चिल्ड्रन बट अगेन बिहाइंड दैट I have some interest for you too because I have grabbed you and then I want to increase your interest and then I am going to create a desire for it ab aap you'll further go down into what I'm writing into it I'll say cookery book contains recipes jiske andar low cholesterol food ki recipe hai low sugar ki recipes hain supposing you are suffering from any of these things you will surely be tempted or a specific class hogi who would be tempted going in for such a gift to the mother and then the recipes ab along with that again you know it's a sales but it's not manipulative mind it i'm not manipulating it's a win win situation aaj main aapko letters mein jab mazid jaunga because i'm telling you how to be creative how can you be innovative you must find good ways of being a persuasive sales person so here i'm just giving you ideas ke cookery book hai maa ko gift de rahe hain aur uske andar recipes hai aur recipes ke piche then maybe you are selling products acche masale bech rahe hain kuch aur cheeze bech rahe honge but then you are promoting your business through selling these books now here was a that is selling gifts you have created a uh, in uh, a grabber which through which you create an interest create a desire for further knowing about it and then roping in the person to uh, you know go in for that taking the correct actions but one thing keep in mind under no situation i am trying to be manipulator aaiye main aapko isi tarah se health sector mein batau ki ek grabber which can easily Uh, help you construct a very good process in that the reason i am telling you these practical examples is because i want to broaden your horizon i want to give you practical examples don't be just confined to the theoretical aspect but look for opportunities and try to be creative kyunki persuasive letters ke andar aap jab tak jaise maine aapko shuru mein buffers bataye the ki acche buffers can set the mood of the letter likewise आप पर्सुएसिव लेटर्स के अंदर यू नीड टू स्टार्ट विद गुड अटेंशन गेटिंग ग्रैप्स मैंने आपको कहा आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एनदर आइडिया सपोजिंग यू आर रनिंग अ हेल्थ लेबोरेटरी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू एजुकेट योर पीपल टू बी अवेयर अबाउट देयर हेल्थ नाउ हे आर इज दैट यू कैन start a grabber telling them that do you know 25% of the people living in pakistan suffer from health diseases because of their bad dietary habits now okay a shocking thing remember maine aapko uh, verbal communication mein bhi kaha tha ki aap speech shuru karne se pehle grabber se logon ko uh, aap you will uh, gain their attention now here you are telling them that look here 25% people suffering from heart ailments and then you can say come to our laboratory and get your cholesterol checked get your uh, sugar tested ab yaha here is a way of selling your services people will come there and then you can further uh, induce them in taking some more actions what i mean telling you here by getting the uh, attention is that you can succeed by once involving catching the attention of the people by using the right approach of uh, reading and accepting that this grabber is not manipulative but you are providing 
information. You are providing details, statistical details about something they are not aware of. So knowledge basically is the preliminary thing which will incite uh, a person to know more about. And as I said to you in my last lecture, that persuasive letters provide options. They do not manipulate, but they educate a person telling them that they have got choices, they can make uh, rational, they can make uh, decisions based on logical and emotional appeals you make. Now, again coming back to the two points which I mentioned in my last lecture, that only emotional appeals will not make a difference. I said to you that if you simply ask a person to donate money, emotionally will not unless they know the credibility of a person. That is it. logically it should appeal to them that yes, the money they are giving is for a good cause. So balancing that logical and emotional appeals is another art. I told you that most persuasive messages include both emotional and logical appeals. Now, in order to well understand that what logical appeal is going to catch the attention and create an interest, you have to further look into it uh, by the way you write, by the way you use words, those with definite meanings or words like abstract meanings, like I said to you, talking about the freedom, talking about the value, talking about the comfort, talking about the prestige. These things really would uh, create an interest in a person and they will create a desire further so that one would like to know what is exactly that you are uh, selling or that is what you are convincing a person. When I talk to you about desire, because this is the fourth part, first was the attention getting, second was the uh, interest and uh, the third is the desire and finally we'll come to the action. Mind it when I talk to you about desire, again you have to be very intelligently trying to motivate the person because when I say balancing the emotional and the rational part of it, logical part of it, you have to see what appeals to the person. Supposing you sell clothes, straight away selling clothes might not appeal, might not work. But if you talk about style, if you talk about attractiveness, if you talk, talk about outlook, it will sell. Agar aap kisi ko ye kahe ki aap ko ye style bada achha lagta hai. Aisa libas, aisa well cut, adds to your personality, you are emotionally, uske jo uh, uh, content hai or aapka message ko increase kare. That is, you are selling clothes, but then you are not talking about your clothes. You are talking about the style, you are talking about the appearance of the person, you are talking about that your character, aapka character is different is, is, is libas mein nazar aata hai. That is the emotional appeal. Supposing I sell books, perhaps nobody will buy the books, but if I talk to them about the knowledge this the book contains, people will buy. I say you, uh, you need adding to your knowledge. Main dietary book bech raho. Main low calories ke um, recipes meri kitab mein bech raho. And I tell them, do you have any knowledge about all protein diet? Do you have knowledge about low calorie food? They say, no. I said, I have got a book. I can provide you that knowledge. You need it. See, I can sell it. This is the persuasiveness. If I talk to you about, look, you need an air conditioner in your room. Perhaps you will not buy it. If I say, look, you need comfort. Sare din ke baad thak hai aate ho. At least you need a sound sleep. You need comfort. I'm selling comfort. I'm emotional appeal. You understand?
मैं आपको इसलिए एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूं ताकि आपका जो है ना हॉराइजन वो ब्रॉडन हो आई एम सेलिंग सो यू वॉन्ट बाय इट बट आई से लुक यू नीड अ फेयर स्किन यू नीड अ ग्लो ऑन योर स्किन आप यू कैन एड अ ग्लो टू योर फेस आपकी और स्मूदर स्किन हो सकती है आई नो इट यू आर यू सी बिकॉज यू आर प्लेइंग विद द इमोशनल रिक्वायरमेंट आप देखिए इट इज नॉट मैन्यूपुलेशन अगेन पर्सन हु से वॉट यूज दिस सोप दिस इज गुड फील सो वॉट आई मीन सेंग इज दैट यू नीड टू बैलेंस द इमोशनल पार्ट एंड द लॉजिकल पार्ट और जब आप ये चीज सीख लेंगे आपकी राइटिंग में इफेक्टिवनेस आएगी एंड इट विल बी अ परसुएसिव राइटिंग मैं चाहूंगा कि जब मैं आपसे बैलेंसिंग द इमोशनल एंड द लॉजिकल अपील्स की बात कर रहा हूं तो अपने जहन में वो चीज मत भूलिएगा जो कि मैंने आपको पिछले लेक्चर में काफी डिटेल में आपके साथ उसका मैंने डिटेल में बात की और वो दो चीजें थी डेमोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन एंड साइकोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन देखिए द रीजन आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन दिस इज दैट वी टेन टू ओवर लुक सम इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड वी ट्राई टू डिविएट अगर आप इन साइकोग्राफिक क्योंकि साइकोलॉजिकल नीड्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट नीड्स है इमोशनल नीड्स जैसे अभी मैंने थोड़ी देर पहले आपको कितनी टेक्टफुली बताया कि आप बजाय के प्रोडक्ट्स को बेचने के दोज ऑफकोर्स दिस इज दी कीपिंग इन द नीड्स ऑफ द रीडर नीड्स ऑफ द योर कस्टमर इनको फोकस करेंगे तो यू विल बी टचिंग अपॉन द इमोशनल नीड्स ऑल दो उसके अंदर लॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट भी है बिकॉज यू बिलीव दैट देयर इज समथिंग व्हिच इज फैक्चुअल लॉजिकल उसकी अभी है दैट इज ऑन 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 ह्यूमन रीजनिंग पे भी आप बेस्ड हैं खाली इमोशनल अपील विल नेवर मार्क विल नेवर वर्क सो दे फोर इनका बैलेंस जरूरी है और याद रहे मैंने आपको थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रीजनिंग लॉजिकली के बताई थी दैट वॉज दी एनालॉजी लाइक वेन आई एम टॉकिंग टू माई पीपल इन माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और फॉर दैट मैटर वेन आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू नाउ I am trying to deal with you the way I deal with my own children. मैं जैसे उनको इन्फॉर्म करता हूं जैसे मैं उनको अप्राइज करता हूं जैसे मैं उनको एजुकेट करता हूं मैं फोकस करता हूं आई से लुक है यार लुक है चाइल्ड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो टू गेट द होल असेंस ऑफ द नॉलेज रादर देन के घोटा लगा के पास हो जाओ दैट्स वाई माई फोकस टूडे इज दैट यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दैट यू नीड आउट ऑफ दिस होल कोर्स so that is to be more profitable analogy like uh, when i'm talking to you i say i'm talking to you like my my child when i'm dealing with my own people in in my organization i tell them it's my it's my my company is my home drawing analogy right and then i told to you about something known as induction that is talking from specific evidence to general conclusion ye cheez फला जगह कामयाब हुई थी लिहाजा यह भी कामयाब हो दैट्स हाउ यू कैन प्ले विद द लॉजिकल रीजनिंग पार्ट एंड देन लास्ट विच आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट यू रिमाइंड यू वॉज द डिडक्शन दैट इज यूजिंग इंडस्ट्री इंडस्ट्री वाइड प्रोजेक्शन फॉर हायरिंग मोर एम्प्लॉयज बिकॉज यू से दिस इज द ट्रेंड लिहाजा वी मस्ट डू इट एंड दैट्स हाउ यू वुड बी कन्विंसिंग योर बॉस ये तीनों चीजें आपने लॉजिकल प्लस इमोशनल यू विल बी यूजिंग वाइल फ्रेमिंग फ्रेमिंग योर आर्गुमेंट फ्रेमिंग योर मैसेज लेकिन एक चीज जो मैं अब इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूं कि वाइल वी आर गिविंग लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन टू आर स्टेटमेंट्स टू द रेफरेंसेस विच वी आर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम इमोशनल एंड से डेमोग्राफिक और साइकोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन मस्ट कीप इन माइंड दैट वी मस्ट अवॉइड फॉल्टी लॉजिक अगर आपने इमोशनली तो अपील किया है लेकिन यू आर एट द सेम टाइम बेसिंग योर रीजनिंग और फॉल्टी लॉजिक इट विल इट विल इट वॉन्ट वर्क 
to avoid faulty logic. So therefore, I am going to give you some guidelines. One must avoid hasty generalization. That is, do not arrive at a decision immediately. Hasty conclusion, hasty decision, foreign kabhi madde. Even in your practical life, that is, if you listen to an argument, don't give a hasty conclusion. It should be based on uh, concrete evidences, based on facts, based on certain uh, solid footings. That is, keep in mind, avoid hasty generalization. I have given you a little bit earlier example that we come to a specific generalization that this is a very test marketing this product is a lot of big. Flange will be big. This will be big. In all countries will be big. May not work. Because you might be selling that product within a community which needs the thing. But maybe throughout the country it might not work. That will be a faulty conclusion. Faulty is your generalization. Second, avoid attacking your opponent. This is a very good rule. We all should be using it in our everyday life. Verbal communication maybe and likewise in written communication. That is, you may not be uh, in agreement with the with the reader who has complained to you or just go up persuade karne ki koshish kar rahe hai ke bhai ye paisa wapas kar do tumne kaafi deer istamal kar diya hai don't attack that person uske character ko attack na kare you can argument ko aap aapne attack karna hai so it is important that do not indulge into personal criticism kisi ki character pe kisi ke faith ke upar that your past record says that you have always been doing like, doing like that you you never return back the amount on the due date that will be hitting the person on the, the suffer aspect of uh, his or her character don't do that argument kare uh, based on solid footings so keep in mind that do not attack people try to convince through arguments avoid oversimplifying a complex issue that is you have to present all factors then ke ya ye aspect hai ya ye aspect hai that is don't tell if there are more than uh, two more than two choices ke this is only the choice either you take this or take this you kisi cheez ko oversimplify na kare because you see if you are putting in front of your reader number of choices you are being honest you are being candid you are giving more options to think mind it maine baat shuru mein lecture ke shuru mein kaha tha ke the persuasion ka maqsad ye nahi hai ke aapne simply motivate karna hai ya manipulate karna hai rather you want the person to make an informed decision informed choices deni hai usko bahut sari and then it is for you to smartly act and let the person choose from what you want him or her to choose so therefore you must not simplify rather aisa jo ke complex hai issue hai jisme bahut sare factors involved hain bahut sare options available hain put all the options in front of the uh, reader aage chal ke main aapko bataunga ke it is a persuasion is not a one shot uh, act ye nahi ke aap i can immediately uh, now i can convince you on any subject it takes time because it's a question of basically changing the attitude it's a question of changing the belief it is ek cheez aap bahut der se karte aa rahe hain for nahi hoga so therefore you have to sh show patience and act it very carefully another guideline mein ek aur aspect hai avoid assuming a false cause that is We all cause and effect से प्ले करके हम रीजन आउट कर कॉजेज कुड भी डिफरेंट एंड हर कॉज का डिफरेंट इफेक्ट होगा डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सिचुएशन 
depending on the environment. So therefore, you have to reason it out correctly. That's why I say, kisi false cause ko aap base na banai and you not try to convince a person that uh, this is this is because that is the cause. So mind it, aap jab tak factual correct cheese na batai, do not immediately cause or effect ko similar situations ke andar apply na kare. Again, avoid faulty analogies. Keep in mind that two objects or situations being compared are similar or they could not be similar. Analogy, just like I say, I when I say to, uh, to you that the people I work with are like my family. But then this analogy cannot be applied anywhere else. This is because I spend most of my time with my colleague where I work. Anywhere else, where I just go for a short period of time, I cannot apply the same analogy. That is, you have to see, jab aap wohi teen rule, teen rule jo mene aapko logic uh, reasoning ke liye hai, you cannot apply it everywhere without keeping in mind the correct situation. Then lastly, avoid illogical support. That is, make sure that your claim and your support is truly logical and not based on a leap of faith. Since persuasive messages are based on faith, aap apna hi, apne faith ko kahi aur illogically apply mat keji. You cannot say that since this is my faith, likewise it could work with you. So that will be a wrong approach. Careful that faith should not be used as a base for trying to convince a person. Having said that, having known that we now can well balance the logical and emotional appeals, then comes the final, that is, now is the time for you to reinforce your position. That is, you must now work towards letting the reader move into action. One thing is important that so far we are trying to use the words in such a way that we could build up their emotional content of the message or the logical content. But again, you know, using semantics to build credibility and enhance the emotional content of your message can be very effective. Semantics, you remember, I talked to you about semantics, is the choices of the word and the meanings those words give to the reader. Since meanings are what we attach to the words, Every person, according to his or her own experience, would attach different meanings. So we can employ the art of semantics while we are trying to reinforce our position. So the way semantics can affect persuasive messages is in a variety of way the people attach meanings to certain words. And that is what you can very intelligently make use of. याद रहे मैंने आपको राइटिंग स्किल्स में शुरू में बताया कि कुछ वर्ड्स हैं जो कि एब्स्ट्रैक्ट वर्ड्स होते हैं कुछ होते हैं जो कि कंक्रीट वर्ड्स होते हैं एंड एब्स्ट्रैक्ट वर्ड्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू इंटरप्रिटेशंस डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशंस बिकॉज़ दे रेफर टू थिंग्स दैट द पीपल कैन नॉट एक्सपीरियंस विद देयर सेंसेस सो यू यूज एब्स्ट्रैक्शन टू एनहांस द इमोशनल कंटेंट ऑफ अ पर्सुएसिव मैसेज आइए मैं आपको आपसे एक एग्जांपल डिस्कस करता हूं जिसमें आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू यूज सिमेंटिक्स फॉर प्रमोटिंग माय प्रोडक्ट लेट्स से आई एम सेलिंग फ्लैग्स मैं इंडिपेंडेंस डे पे फ्लैग्स बेच रहा हूं एंड आई टच योर पैट्रियटिज्म आई सेड इफ यू आर अ पैट्रियट पर्सन 
put our flag on your house. And every person, every child must buy our flag because we need to prove that we are Pakistanis. We are proud Pakistanis. So, you know, it will work. Other than that, if I say, if I try to sell flag on the basis of the fabric I'm using, on the basis of the color, on the basis of printing, beauty, perhaps it won't work. But if I use the semantics of saying that every person should try to be patriotic, that's how I can use the art of semantics by selling my product. Exactly the same way. Supposing you are writing a letter to a client who is not paying his or her dues. Overdue hoge ye date. So again, you may have better luck collecting an overdue bill by mentioning honesty, by, by mentioning about the fair play rather than repeatedly telling him or her that overdue hoge ya, this is the amount. Aaj jab mein aapko examples kuch dikhaunga, usme you will see that collection letters mein aap shuru mein you will employ some of the techniques of how you can use the semantic, uh, semantics to uh, inculcate in them a desire to pay back rather than straight away jumping on to the conclusion that we are going to uh, sue you or our legal action in That is important that you can as well employ semantics for getting your message across. Now, using semantics skillfully, of course, can serve the purpose, but not always. There are additional techniques. Aap kuch aur bhi tools istamal kar sakte hai. Main aapko aaj wo tools bhi bata hai. Sab se pehle, that is, be moderate. When I say be moderate, I mean that try to be, play with the psychological needs of a person. And do not try to jump to strong conclusions. That is, when I say be moderate, it is easy for you to bring in small changes in a person's life rather than asking for a major change. Yaad rahe, many ek dafa aapko ek example di. If I ask a person that stop eating meat because at this age it is not good for you. Aap vegetarian ho jau. Kyunki I see aapka cholesterol level bhoat high. The person will not buy. I will not be able to persuade. On the other hand, if I'll just ask the person to skip a meal or two, it will work. So ask for small steps. Don't immediately, that is, jump to for major change in a person. Belief systems or uh, habits ko change karna, attitudes ko change karne ke liye, you need to go gradually. You need not ask a rapid change in a person. Then, focus on your goal. That is, emphasize on action, not on changing minds. Aap logo ke minds ko ni change kar sakte. Aap logo ke actions ko gradually change kar sakte. If you try to change the whole thinking of a person, perhaps it will not work. On the other hand, just let the person take one small action. And those small actions will bring a big change in the whole attitude, in the whole mind approach of a person. Use simple language. Keep in mind that people are very intelligent. They can see through the messages. If you are making tall claims, if you are making your message very attractive, aap ye dabba khareed lenge, aap ki gadi nikal aayegi. People know, if it works, everybody would be rushing in buying their product, but it doesn't. On the other hand, if you use moderate language, a language which appeals, which doesn't uh, blow up the picture 
آ, اتنا کہ لوگ اس کو ان ریئلسٹک سمجھنے لگے دیٹس وائی بی کیئر فل پرسویسو میسجز میں اوور ڈو مت کریں لینگویج کو ماڈریٹلی یوز کریں اور لینگویج شوڈ بی سچ دیٹ پیپل بلیو اٹ یس اٹ از پاسبل اینٹیسپیٹ اپوزیشن آپ اپنے میسج کو کمپوز کرنے سے پرسویسو میسج کو کمپوز کرنے سے پہلے کیپ ان مائنڈ واٹ ول بی دی آبجیکشن پیپل ووڈ ریز یو مسٹ ہیو آنسرز ٹو دی آبجیکشن پیپل ول ریز اف یو ڈو ناٹ ہیو آپ کے میسج میں لیکن آز رہ جائیں گے کیپ دیٹ ان مائنڈ پرووائڈ سفیشینٹ سپورٹ دیٹ از اف دا چینج از نیسیسری دین اٹ مسٹ بی سبسٹینشیٹڈ ود دا سپورٹ دیٹ از اف یو بائی دس دس ول ہیپن اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو ایڈ ویلیو ٹو واٹ ایور یو وانٹ ٹو اچیو بی اسپیسیفک سائٹ فیکٹس اینڈ فگرز اینڈ ڈو یور ہوم ورک ویل اگر آپ نے ٹوٹل اپروچ آپ کی سمپلی یہ ہے مینیپولیٹو ہے پیپل ول میک آؤٹ ادر وائز یو جسٹ بی اسپیسیفک دیٹ آئی ایم سیلنگ سیفٹی اکوپمنٹ بیکاز آئی بلیو اٹ از امپورٹنٹ فور یو بٹ اگر آپ سیفٹی اکوپمنٹ کے ساتھ ساتھ انشورنس بھی سیل کریں گے پیپل ول ناٹ بائی سو کیپ ان مائنڈ دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو بی اسپیسیفک کریٹ اے ون ون سچویشن وائل یو آر سیلنگ یور اون پروڈکٹ میک دا ریڈر ریئلائز دیٹ اٹ از فار ہز اور ہر بینیفٹ اگر ریڈر کو اپنا بینیفٹ اس کے اندر نظر آئے گا وہ خریدے گا ادر وائز آف کورس یو سی یو آر سیلنگ یور اون پروڈکٹ ٹو بٹ دین اٹ ہیز ٹو بی اے ون ون گڈ فار ہم اور ہر ایز ویل ایز یو ٹائم یور میسج اپروپریٹلی ٹائمنگ از ویری اپروپریٹ ٹائم از ویری امپورٹنٹ امیجن گاڈ فار بیٹ دیز اے کلیمٹی دیز اے نیچرل کلیمٹی کسی ملک میں آئی لوگ سیلاب میں مر رہے ہیں ریسکیو آپریشن جاری ہے اینڈ سم انشورنس ایجنٹ گوز اوور دیئر اسٹارٹ سیلنگ انشورنس نو بڑی ول بائی پیپل ول لاف ایٹ دا پرسن دیٹ از ناٹ دی اپروپریٹ ٹائم بٹ ویٹ فار دا ٹائم وین ایوری تھنگ ریسیڈس لائف ہیز کم بیک ٹو نارمل دین گو اینڈ سیل انشورنس پیپل دیٹ از دی اپروپریٹ ٹائم یو کین ٹیل پیپل لاسٹ ٹائم یو ڈڈ ناٹ انشور یور ہوم یو ڈڈ ناٹ انشور یور اپلائنسز اگر آج آپ نے کی ہوئی ہوتی یو کوڈ ہیو سیو یور پراپرٹی سو اپروپریٹ ٹائم از وین دا پیپل آر ریڈی ٹو ریسیو یور میسج دیٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ جیسے میں آج کی آپ کو کلیکشن لیٹرز میں بتاؤں گا کہ آپ اسٹریٹ اوے کسی کو بجائے کہ آپ اس کو ایموشنل اپیل کریں یا لاجیکل اپیل کریں آپ اسٹریٹ اوے اس کو ایک نوٹس بھیج دیں وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اے لیگل نوٹس بھیج دیں وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اے لیگل ایکشن ٹائم از ناٹ رائٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اینٹیگنائز دا پرسن سو دیر فور ٹائمنگ ویری امپورٹنٹ اسپیک میٹافورکلی پرسویسو میسجز کے اندر میٹافا بہت افیکٹو پینٹ اے پکچر پیپل لائک اٹ It puts the people into action. If I say, all the world is a stage. Dekhye, ab yaha, people can imagine. We all are actors. And, and the world is a stage. Main metaphor istamal ki hai. People will understand. Aur yaha, hum sab actors hain. Aur hum sab ka role hai. Aur hum, we are a team putting up a drama. People can imagine. Har ek ka collective role kya hai. دے کین امیجن کہ ایک ڈرامے میں اگر ایک آرٹسٹ اپنی ہی طرز کی ایکٹنگ کر رہا ہے دوسری اور کر رہا ہے ڈراما ول بی فیلیئر سو دیٹ از ہائی اے گلوبل ولیج کا کانسیپٹ میں اگر اس طرح سے دوں پیپل ول بائی دے لائک ٹو کلیبریٹ دے لائک ٹو ورک فار دا ویلفیئر آف کمیونٹی دیٹس ہاؤ وی کین اسپیک میٹافورکلی ٹو سیل نیو آئیڈیا نیو ایکشن اور سپورٹ دین یوز anecdotes and stories to make your point main computers bechta hu aur main aapke paas aaya hu main keh raha hu ki dekhiye aapka computer 
दस साल पुराना होगी आपकी हार्ड डिस्क में कैपेसिटी नहीं है यू आर ओवरलोडिंग इट बाय अ न्यू कंप्यूटर समे योर हार्ड डिस्क विल ब्रेक डाउन यू विल नॉट बाय पर ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ आई टेल यू अ स्टोरी कि पिछले दिनों मेरा एक दोस्त उसके पास एग्जैक्टली यही कंप्यूटर है जो आपके पास एंड ही इज मोर बिजी देन यू वॉट हैपन ही वॉज मेकिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रेजेंटेशन इन वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मीटिंग इन द मिडल कोर्स ऑफ हिस प्रेजेंटेशन हार्ड डिस्क ब्रोक डाउन इट वॉज टोटल फ्यास्को he lost a very good opportunity to make a good deal with the people whom he was presenting now this will sell because maybe you are a competitor king acha i might as well because you will you will foresee i do not want to risk uh, such a catastrophic situation so aap is kisam ki different tools ye maine jitni aapko examples di aap persuasive messages mein Other than emotional or logical appeals, आप ये सारे tools इस्तेमाल कर सकते So, be creative. Try to find out what works and put it in in your message and likewise in your everyday communication, oral as well. Then, now finally, deal with resistance. आपको definite है you will come across people. Who will resist you no matter? आप कितना अच्छा अपना message that is, and you have to anticipate how would people object to your cause. वो कैसे resist करेंगे? You must anticipate and answer possible objections. That is, you must try. कि what if this happens? ये आपके पास जवाब होना चाहिए. जो भी different scenarios हैं. What if this happens? उसको पहले से आप प्रोडिक्ट कर लें एंड मे बी यू कुड लेट अदर्स हेल्प यू फाइंड सोल्यूशन टू प्रॉब्लम एज वेल और जो कि आप उसके अंदर इनकॉर्पोरेट कर सकते हैं सो द कॉमन मिस्टेक्स जो कि आप यू कैन मेक लेट मी क्विकली गिव यू सम ऑफ द मिस्टेक्स यू माइट सो यू ट्राई टू अवॉइड दोज मिस्टेक्स वन दैट यू you can make a mistake and so you avoid using an up front hard sell abhi thodi der pehle maine aapse kaha tha ki persuasive messages hard sell nahi hote ek hi go ke andar aap you will never be able to achieve your results keep in mind it's a slow process persuasion is a process it takes time because People do not change easily. अगर आपने जेन में यह रखा है कि हार्ड सेल नहीं यू आर ग्रेजुअली ग्रेजुअली ब्रिंगिंग योर रीडर टू द पॉइंट ऑफ टू द पॉइंट वेयर ही और शी विल बाय योर आइडिया यू विल बी अ सक्सेसफुल परसुएसिव स्पीकर और राइटर सो एवॉयड दिस सेकेंड इज एवॉयड रेजिस्टिंग कंप्रोमाइज बिकॉज Keep in mind, in life you have to make compromises. Likewise, आप compromises को resist ना करें. One way or the other, आपको compromise करना पड़ेगी. So, आप keep in mind कि जब आप किसी को persuade कर रहे हैं, maybe you might not be able to sell everything you want to. Or for that matter, आप collection के लिए आपने किसी को persuasive letter लिखा है. And the person refuses to pay the whole amount then you might say okay for the time being you can't give give this much so compromise otherwise you can't say either complete return the whole amount or just i'm going to take a legal action that is keep in mind you must avoid uh, resisting any compromise then relying solely on great arguments don't think that if you are a very good communicator aapke paas बहुत अच्छा सॉलिड सब्सटेंटिव एविडेंस है एंड यू कैन विन ओवर दी आर्गूमेंट आपने सुना होगा कि यू कैन लूज अ फ्रेंड बट यू कैन नेवर विन एन आर्गूमेंट और और यू कैन और यू कैन विन एन आर्गूमेंट और यू कैन लूज अ फ्रेंड सो देर फोर नेवर ट्राई टू विन एन आर्गूमेंट 
क्योंकि आर्गुमेंट अगर आपने विन की मे बी यू कुड एनॉय द पर्सन सो डू नॉट रिलाय सोली ऑन योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स दैट इज कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इज ओनली वन पार्ट बट देन यूजिंग दोज कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स फॉर अ विन विन सिचुएशन फॉर परसुएडिंग अ पर्सन इन सच अ वे दैट द पर्सन इज हैप्पी एंड यू एज वेल कैन डिलीवर द गुड्स दैट इज वॉट हैज टू बी अदरवाइज डोंट एंटायरली ट्राई टू विन विन एन आर्गुमेंट एवॉइड एस्यूमिंग परसुएशन एज ए वन शॉर्ट एफर्ट इसके ऊपर मैं ऑलरेडी काफी कुछ कह चुका कि इट्स नॉट दैट यू स्ट्रेट अवे आप बिलीव करें आप इसमें कोशिश करें कि आई एम गोइंग टूडे इन यू नो इन सिटिंग जस्ट इन वन गो मेक एन एफर्ट टू कन्विंस दिस पर्सन इधर ही और शी इज गोइंग टू बाय दिस और वोट बाय इट नो इट्स लॉन्ग प्रोसेस एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन द टाइम वर्किंग ऑन दी ऑन द पर्सन साइकोग्राफिक नीड्स एंड देन ग्रेजुअली over a period of time for one single action maybe you could convince a person and then later on aaj i'm going to stop here and then in my next lecture i will give you just a couple of examples i wish i i could do it today but i bel- i believe that it was important for me to tell you that you must not try to overdo things while framing a persuasive message aapke liye ye zaruri hai jaise ki maine aapko disappointing letters mein negative letters mein bataya ki buffers ko kaise aapne structure karna hai aur unki reasoning deke kis tarah se action exactly the same way in persuasive messages you have to be very artful you have to be very careful and you have to make your uh, message appealing both logically and emotionally so that you could over a passage of time make the person uh, accept for a change in his or her action gradually as well changing the belief lifestyle which is actually your main purpose of writing a persuasive message aaj i have almost summed up what i started my lecture with because i believed unless and until you have clearly developed a notion of how to get into the right organizational uh, scenario so that you could frame your message appropriately watch data you have collected i believe that you will practice it and then inshallah in my next lecture i will give you a few specimens of good persuasive letters and then we will move onward to another form of letters which are mostly for in house in company in organization uh, communication but for the time being i would like that please act carefully on the things which i explained to you in detail which i thought was very essential today because in my last lecture too i tried to focus on the things which i believe people overlook that's why i thought it important i thought it very essential that i may uh, emphasize few things before uh, you may just take it uh, as normal ordinary letter writing but the art of persuasive letters uh, is entirely different and you need doing a lot of practice inshallah in my next lecture i'll be summing up by giving a few specimen uh, letters and then proceed onwards telling you how to write memos and short posts all the best thank you khuda hafiz